In this lesson we will learn how to change the color of the eyes and that it will still look realistic. For example, do you see the reflections that are in this woman's eyes? You will see that even after I change the color, they will stay there. Let's start. First of all we need to choose the pupils. I will use the quick selection tool for this. Just gently select the area you need. And if you accidentally chose too much press alt and at the same time select the unnecessary parts with the selection tool and the unnecessary part will be deleted from the selection. Having chosen, I want the edges not to look too sharp. So let's go to Select Menu, Modify, Feather. For that matter, 3 pixels are enough for me. Now we will create a new layer and fill it with the color we want. Later we will see that we can change the color without a problem, even after we have already painted a certain color. I want to choose a green color. I select the bucket tool, you can access it by pressing G, and fills the area I have chosen. At the moment it looks ugly and not at all like the eyes, but do not worry. I change the name of the layer. It is not necessary but to maintain order, it is recommended. I do this by double clicking on the name of the layer, not on the square that shows the view but on the name. Another option is right clicking, layer properties. On the layers window, you will see a box that says normal with a down arrow. Click on it and it will open a long list for you. Choose soft light. Now you can see that the color green has become more transparent and got the texture of the image behind it. But it's still not perfect. Next to the box we just opened there is another box called opacity. Let's change its value. I change it to almost 50%, but you can play with it and see the result in the picture. You can also try playing with the values in the previous box we opened. Each value you select causes the current layer to affect the layer below it differently. In fact, after examining all the options, I think color seems more realistic. But all for your consideration. I'm zooming out now. From a distance it seems to me that the green color is a bit too prominent, so I will lower the opacity a bit more. Again, play with it yourself until it looks good to you. There is nothing right, there is what looks good in your eyes. Now I will show you a little trick so you can change the color easily. I add a folder, again, it's not necessary, but I want to work neatly. I drag my layer into the folder and click on the layer while I press Ctrl. What it does is that the software selects all the parts that have pixels in the layer that I press along with the control. In this case, only the eyes. Now, below the layers, you will see some small icons. One of them is a circle that is half painted black and half white diagonally. Click on it and from the selected list, click on Hue and Saturation. In the window that opens, you can change the values and see how the color in the eyes changes accordingly. When you change the saturation, the color fades or becomes stronger accordingly. I will now try to change the color of the eyes to yellow to demonstrate how it works. And, that's all.